Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and this is episode 2 of Bello Calcio. We are currently out in Japan managing Shonan Bel Mare. So if you were with us yesterday, you would have seen the little introduction to the club. You would have shown you some of the players, financial situation and we were going to skip forwards basically. And what we have done is moved to the eve of the first game of our J-League campaign and we have quite a bit to fill you in on so we are going to get straight into it and the first thing that we are going to show you as always everybody wants to know pre-season uh i was going to go with uh the transfers but no we'll show you the pre-season first so we started off our pre-season with a 2-1 friendly victory over fukushima united goals from oiwa and wellington sealing that deal we then be fc Imabari, Imabari, 5-2 in a game where Wellington got four and new signing Godfrey Oboa Bona scored. We then be Matsuyu, Matsu, Matsumoto Yamaga. That is going to happen a lot, I will warn you. The pronunciations are going to take a few times, uh, few, few times to grasp because some of the names are oh, going to be quite difficult to pronounce, but we will get through it. So Matsumoto Yamaga, we beat them 3-0 with goals from Nago, Machida and Oiwa. And then we had a 2-2 draw last time out with goals from Suzuki and Oashi. And we basically have had a pretty good pre-season. So then, let's get on to what you really wanted to see. What has happened in terms of players that have come in and gone out at the club. So a little move over to the transfer history tab. And we can show you that we have signed quite a few players. The wage budget like I said is a little bit grim. We also got away without having to sell anybody. Was on the verge of selling Tariq Elianusi. And I thought you know what. Let's try and keep him. He's an experienced player. Him and Wellington are on one year deals. Players that we are bringing in depending on their age. Have got two year deals. So maybe it's a good thing to. Lean on them for the first season and then see at the end of the first season whether we can either renew the contracts or get them to restructure, certainly in the case of Wellington. However, I feel he might be quite vital to the team. So the other thing that I did mention in the intro yesterday is the fact that we want to try and build Japanese football. And the way that I want to do that, I know I should really develop young Japanese talent, but I've got a feeling that if we bring through some of the youth of the world, shall we say, it might spur the Japanese players on at the club to develop. And all the time that the club is developing through those international players, the Japanese players also will develop with them. So with that, let's show you who we have signed. So the first player that we brought in on a free transfer was Nicholas. He is a 19-year-old attacker. He came in from Santos Reserves, I think it was. Yeah, Santos Reserves. Uh... Didn't have to pay anything for him, which is a bonus. £525. Fits the criteria of players who are under the age of 23 for the first team. Uh, don't think he's quite ready to go in yet, although he does have good pace, good acceleration. Dribbling, finishing, first touch. Heading is good. I think he's definitely one that we can build upon. He did ask to go out on loan, hence the reason that he has the loan tab here. But no club came in for him to have a look, so... He's still at the club. He's registered for first team football. So if he gets the opportunities, we will throw him in. The next player is Mateu Sayo. Mateu Sayo. I think that's how you say it. He is a 19 year old Brazilian goalkeeper. He stands at six foot six and has jumping reach of 20, aerial reach of 18, command of area 13, kicking 14, reflexes 14. Again, at the age of 19, not one that he's going to walk straight into the first team here at Shonan, but he's one that we are going to look to develop. Again, one that maybe goes out on loan and one that we can see if he can be a little bit of a project, maybe moving into the first team lineup further on down the line. The next player that we brought in and the first of the international players that uh, we are going to look basically to help build upon. And that is Godfrey Oboa Bona. He is a 31 year old Nigerian international with 44 caps to his name. 
In fact, if we go into him, and let's have a little look at him in a bit more depth. So you can see he has tackling of 12, marking of 12, heading of 13, balance 16, natural fitness 17, strength of 16, stands at 6 foot 1. And if you have a little look at the star ratings over here, he fits perfectly in with the players that we have. It does say that his best position is defender right, but we really want him to be playing as a centre-back. So... I think he has all the attributes that we need. Did want to come in as an important player. Came in on a wage of £1,200. And in terms of his history, he has been playing in Georgia, Croatia, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and then in his native Nigeria for the first years of his career. So I think he's a player, fits the bill of everything that we want. He is an older player to mentor some of the younger players at the club. He also fits in perfectly in terms of the stats that he has plugs a gap in the defence because when we were trying to sign players improving the defenders was one thing that kept cropping up so I think it's a sound purchase and one that we can build upon the next player to come in is Thierry Graca or Grassa we'll go with Graca he is a Cape Verdean international with five caps to his name he is a sweeper keeper by trade and when you look at his stats he's six foot four so Brilliant in terms of his height. He has area reach of 14, eccentricity of 16, which may be good, maybe not. Uh, kicking of 12, one on one to 12, reflexes of 16, rushing out of 11, throwing of 13. He has some decent mentals there, and his physicals are all good too, with jump and reach of 15, obviously at 6 foot 4, being the biggest bonus for us. He's a player I have to say, hadn't really heard of. But you can see again over here, in terms of Kosai Tani, who is not our goalkeeper, he is better than him in current ability. He may not be as good as him in the long term, but definitely another one that if at the age of 27 we can get a couple of years out of him to teach these kinds of players behind him, then we can benefit from that, certainly. Looking at his career, he's another player who has been playing in Portugal. He then went to Cyprus for a season before going back to Portugal. Nothing really in terms of big name clubs or big name performances. He played 28 games for Estoril Praia in the Liga Portuguese, Portugal 2, Sabseg, whatever league that is. So it's probably the second division in Portugal. So he does have a good enough pedigree, really, to be our number one goalkeeper. And that is exactly what we are bringing him in to be. So the next player on the list is Giovanni. He is a 22-year-old Brazilian. He has no youth caps. However, he has potential in our team of four and a half stars. He is one that the fans and the board seem to get quite excited about. You can see there... By his picture, he has first-team experience at Fluminense, who we bought him from. And he has all the stats, really, that you're looking for. So good heading, marking, passing, tackling, bravery, positioning, teamwork, work rate, jumping reach. All the things that are going to make us certainly a bit of money if we sell him on, but also a great player for the first team if we can develop him brilliantly. So then, on to Elias Avila. He is a 20-year-old Paraguayan. No youth caps for him either. In terms of our potential ability, he is a five-star potential player. I think this player is a little bit special. He has dribbling 14, finishing 14, heading 14, technique of 14. He has good acceleration, good pace, and I think at six foot tall on a free transfer, this kid could score goals straight away in the first team, and we are willing to throw him in. And then the players to fulfil those um, transfer obligations we had before the start of the season. So you can see that we have Akito Suzuki coming in. He's only a two and a half star potential player. Ryo Nimoto. He is a two and a half star potential player as well. Juno Suki Suzuki is a three and a half star player. Kodai Minoda, he is a two and a half star player. So again, players really to pad out the first team. They could also drop into the reserves if needed. Uh, I think once we start putting a stamp on this team and get through the first season, certainly these are the kinds of players I think we will look to move back on. In terms of players that went out, like I said, we didn't have to sell anybody in the end. We managed to get away with that. We have loaned our 18 year old uh 
Tyson Ishii, I think, is a player who probably one for the future. They reckon at the club he is a three and a half star potential player, so looks interesting there. And then Naoki Hara, he is also going out on loan. He's a potential three star player also. So in terms of the business that we've done, it's pretty decent. Haven't had to spend a single penny in terms of transfer fees. The problem is now when we hit the finances tab, you can see we're now committed to spending £96,000 in terms of wages. So you know what's coming here. We're going to take all of that nice transfer budget and convert it into wage budget. We are still £10,000 overspent. Luckily for us, though, the board isn't too concerned about it. Uh, committed spending for I think that's next season as well is 96,000 we also it didn't show up on there but we made the loan for which of the players was it so Tani has come back on loan on his normal wage and then Shintaro Nago we managed to get him to take a wage drop I think he was on a bit more than this 2700 I think we managed to negotiate that down with his club so that is a deal that worked out giving us a little bit back so that is the squad we have added to it we do have over the limit for the foreign players so currently in the first team we have one two three four five six first teamers that are foreign players we can have five of those in the squad in any one weekend so with the likes of giovanni Avala and Nicholas all being younger players I think that they are probably going to be rotation options and then the players that are senior players at the club will probably take up most of those positions so the last thing to show you really in the build-up to the brand new season is the tactic that we played in those pre-season games and the tactic we are going to be running and it looks a little bit like this so this is a 4-3-3 I have to admit this is a tactic that rdf has made he is a tactic creator for fm scout he also does his own videos if you haven't checked any of his videos out go and look at those they are fantastic he is a great guy in the community as well so a bit of a shout out there credit where credit's due when you borrow something you should always credit the person that's made it the only thing we have done i haven't tweaked anything in the tactic apart from the mentality when you find these tactics they are set automatically at cautious i want to play positive football so i've just literally gone from cautious to positive i think this is a tactic that is going to work well the players that we've brought in and the players that we have at the club seem to really fit in with the mentality of the tactic and i think it is a tactic that is going to take us places in the j league okay so let's wrap this video up we're going to head back to the home screen i think we have covered all of the basics of everything really you need to know about shonan balmare we are a team that is going to look to hold our own in the league and if anything else can come from it then we are really going to look to try and kick on if we could get a mid-table position in the first season i think that will be credible the board just want us to stay in the division like i said yesterday Shonan have been a team that have really across the years had great players and great ability players and then have had to move them on and I think it's a bit of a shame that they have kind of suffered for that in terms of being a bit of a yo-yo team we are now going to look to stabilize that and then in tomorrow's game we are going to look for our first three points of the series so I'm going to wrap this one up here as we are pretty much done in terms of pre-season transfers club introductions all those kinds of things the next thing to show you is us kicking a football in anger but before i go if you're at this point of the video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already you have done already a big thank you if you haven't what are you waiting for please do it hit the notification bell also to stay up to date with everything going on in the save and I appreciate every single person who takes the time to interact with the channel. But for this one, I am going to wrap it here. I hope you join me tomorrow. And we are going to kick off our league campaign against Kashima Antlers. And we hope to get three points on the board at the first time of asking.